guys today it is monday may 4th and you can see behind me that um we're already out on the water and do a little fishing this morning um which i think um really fits well with our lesson that we've been doing for the last week and a half um with andy goldsworthy because he is um inspired and his entire body of work is influenced by his natural surroundings and his sculptures are created from the elements that he finds in nature so pretty fitting for what we have going on in class right now um so that assignment remember is going to be due this friday so if you haven't embarked on that now is the time um you don't necessarily have to go to a park and go hiking and um, take a major you know trail or anything like that just go out to your front yard or your backyard or your neighborhood and just take a little walk and see what you can find and then um, go ahead and create that design um, try to make it cohesive and try to think about where you're placing all those natural elements that you do end up collecting so that's your Andy Goldsworthy and um, I just wanna, this is just gonna be a real quick um, message because there's really nothing new. I'll be posting, um, I think maybe I'll post some of the examples from students that have already turned this in because you guys are doing a really fantastic job, um, which is very cool because it makes you stop and think about um, your natural surroundings and um, think about those things that you probably don't. You just pass them by every day and don't really give them much thought. So um, the kids that have turned this assignment in, um, I'm getting the message that you've really enjoyed it. So that's very cool. So with that in mind, um, here's something that Andy Goldworthy said, and I thought um, would resonate with you. And he says, we often forget that we are nature. Nature is not something separate from us. So when we say that we um, have lost our connection to nature, we've lost our connection to ourselves. So you know again just thinking about and reflecting you know who you are as a person and what you're doing um every day to kind of contribute to society and the growth of who you want to become as a person and um just thinking about those things as you start to collect those natural elements so um you know just taking that opportunity each day whatever it has to offer and making the most of it so that's what we do, and um, you can see that, uh, you know, we do it in a positive way, and it hopefully makes us better people. So um, we'll kind of end it with that. So make sure you get that turned in by Friday. If you still owe me some other work, you may still submit that. Make sure you're checking your school email and, of course, your Google Classroom. And if you guys have any questions, send me those emails because I will be checking my email um, throughout the day and answering any questions that you might have. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully we get on the fish this morning. If you're um, if you're a crappie fisherman, it's been kind of a mixed bag lately. The bite is not really, really strong or anything. So you're not really missing out if you are working. Although any day on the water is great, even if you're not catching fish. But um, don't worry, you haven't missed a spawn. If you, are, if you do fish, you can still get out there and get them. And I'll leave you with that. So I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you need anything. And until tomorrow, cheers.